Okay, goal for today, get this S3 running and possibly driving, I don't know. So if you missed the last video on this Audi S3, I bought this from a friend, Liam, who's come to help rebuild this thing because this is gonna be his daily driver and we're gonna make it into a beast providing that it starts. There is a lot of damage, not only to the body, but also to the engine here as well. We can't start it at the minute. One, because it's got a flat battery and two, because all of this intake manifold is cracked and it could have plastic inside the engine. We're not quite sure yet. Now we're gonna crack straight into this thing, no messing around. The one thing that we always do when buying a crash damaged car is just to get all the crash damaged parts off it first. Then we can start with the base. We can see what's damaged and what isn't damaged. And then hopefully get this thing started. I, I actually really hope this is gonna start. I, I don't know. Let's do it. First thing I'm gonna remove is the bonnet. It is absolutely crumpled. It's made out of aluminium, so it folded really easily. Now with the bonnet removed, I wanna to get to the bonnet hinges. It's always best to replace the hinges as well as the bonnet. As if the hinges are only slightly bent, it'll put the new bonnet out of line really badly. And after removing the plastic to access the hinges, I've not really seen this before. It's like a hydraulic detonator for the airbags on the bonnet hinges. And all I can think of is that that is gonna be expensive. Now with both the bonnet and the hinges off, it's time to remove the front bumper, the arch lining, just so we can be sure there's no other chassis damage that we're missing. And I think we got pretty lucky with the suspension. It doesn't look like there's any damage to the suspension at all. Now I brought the car back down just so we can access a few of the bolts on the wing. And with the wing removed, we can then see the full extent of the damage. So Liam took the wing off on that side. I took the wing off on that side. We've got all the front bumper off and obviously this side is the damaged side, but this side does have a bit of damage on the wing and it needs to be replaced. But so far, so good suspension wise. It looks all straight. We've not had the under tray off yet. So fingers crossed that's still okay. But a bit of bad news on this chassis leg here. Okay, so this part of the damage is obviously part of this chassis. It's not a bolt on bolt off job, but if you saw the RS5 videos, we could actually uh, drill these spot welds out and then re-weld part of this chassis in. This is gonna be a bit of a ball ache. So when I originally saw the car, I seen that this part was obviously crumpled and damaged, and this part is actually a separate part, a separate part number you can see here is actually spot welded from this section here, and it does have a actual part number on it, so you can just buy this from Audi, they're not that expensive, but Unfortunately, we can see that this part has actually took a bit of a whack as well. And unfortunately, this part is all of this piece here, which I assume is gonna be fairly more expensive than just that little bit. But what we'll do, we have a solution to this. I think we'll buy this part. We don't need to actually t replace it from this section here. We can just cut around here, weld it in there, and well, it's fine. No one will ever know. That sort of pillar there is not actually part of like a structure or affecting any structure. It's just literally to mount the wing on. So we need to just get it straight so the wing actually mounts on. Someone's probably gonna tell me otherwise, but that's as good as I know. So next job, Liam, we've gotta get this whole front end radiator and slam panel off, and then we can get to this bad boy here, which is, well, we could get to this anyway, but we, we just wanna get more to it. Now, as the regular viewers will know, I'm not a mechanic and I don't claim to be. I usually just learn as I go along. But with this Audi S3, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Golf R that I rebuilt. So for once, I actually feel like I know what I'm doing at the moment. The Audi S3 shares the same engine as the Golf R. So pretty much the whole front end is exactly the same, which made life a lot more easier. Look at the S3, she is looking better already <laughs> to an extent. A lot of the damaged stuff is now removed. We've absolutely smashed it. We are now continuing the S3 solo. Liam has had to go to work. Now Liam, I know you're watching this and I know I shouldn't give and expect to receive, but there is one thing that's been on my Christmas list for such a long time now. The Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 of course. Dear Santa, this year, my downstairs garden has been getting a little busy. But I've heard the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is everything I need to just freshen up my downstairs. Did you know it's got skin safe technology so it can't snag my bag? It's got an LED light so I can even use it in the dark. 
and it's completely waterproof. Santa, if you're feeling generous, they also do a weed whacker, a nose and ear hair trimmer with the same skin safe technology. And I know I'm pushing it now, but they also have their new and improved Shears 2.0 luxury six piece stainless steel nail kit. That's enough to keep me looking fresh from head to toe. What an amazing Christmas present that would be. And Santa or Liam, if you're watching, if you go to manscaped.com right now and enter promo code Armstrong20, you're gonna get yourself 20% off free international shipping. Not only that, I'm also going to get two free gifts as well. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxes. I just can't wait for Christmas now. Thanks Manscaped. Right, back to the S3. So the front end is off the Audi S3 and most of the damaged parts apart from the chassis leg and of course the interior. But there is one more part that is stopping us from starting this thing. And that is this baby right here. This is the inlet manifold, as I've shown you before. We've got to take this off. If there's any plastic in there, we've got to make sure it is out. I've got a new one to put back on. Another annoying thing that I didn't realize was broke was this uh, throttle body housing here. It looks like it's actually all right. It's not actually had any damage apart from that. I wanted to order just a plastic cap from Audi. You can't actually order the plastic cap separately. It comes as a whole unit. That is over 500 pounds for a throttle body, but luckily, a found one on eBay for under £100, a second hand one, so I've just had to order that. It's annoying because I don't think this throttle body's actually broken, it's just got a crack in the top of it, but it doesn't look good when you open the bonnet. And as always, there's even more broken things, like this little plastic pipe here, there's a, a broken tab on the top, so I've had to order that, but that wasn't too expensive from Audi directly. And we've got broken houses here for uh, the coolant lines as well, that goes just above the water pump, which is in there, I had to order that. And the coolant reservoir, that's got a broken tab on the top, so I've had to order a new one of them. It's all these little things that add up to make it more expensive than you think, but they've got to be done, so I've ordered them. The main thing I'm hoping is that this thing starts. So let's get this inlet manifold off, and finally and hopefully, we can get it started. So to remove the inlet manifold, it was actually pretty tricky. There was a lot of bolts, a lot of electrical connections, and they were all really difficult and fiddly to get to. The throttle body has to come off the bottom, and then we should be able to wiggle it loose. And then that will expose the inlet. So that wasn't as straightforward as I thought. I've taken off things I don't even know what they even do. I mean, there's vacuum lines all over the place. If I set the fuel lines off and all sorts, but we've got the inlet manifold off the broken one with um, the fuel rail and all the injectors as well, because obviously it's direct injection. And quite obviously we have dodged a right bullet there because straight away you can see a nice bit of plastic is, um, yeah, in one, and one of the cylinders. Well, that obviously looks a little bit too big to actually cause any damage, it's just sort of wedged in there, but that would have lost a fair bit of power because of that, so, well, that could be gone. And then also, obviously being a direct injection car, we can now see inside here on the top of the valves. We've got a fair bit of carbon build up, so whilst we've got this all off, we can clean the inside of them, and then hopefully, we can get the new inlet manifold on, and we're gonna get the throttle body on, we're gonna put the old one on because I just wanna start it up, and see, well, hopefully start it up, and then we'll put the new throttle body on afterwards when it comes here as well, we've obviously ordered that. But hopefully it should start up, providing I know how to put this thing back together, which is <laughs> a thing in itself. So I'm just gonna use a bit of brake cleaner just to clean off the carbon that's on the inlet and the actual surface where the inlet manifold touches the inlet as well. We wanna make sure that there's gonna be no air leaks between the inlet and the inlet manifold. Okay, I'm getting excited and nervous for this. It's getting that much closer to starting this thing. The inlet manifold is now on. Okay, things we need to do before we start it. One, check the oil, because, well, it does have oil in it, so that is a good sign. Two, there's no coolant in there at all, but we're not gonna run it long enough for it to get that warm. So it doesn't matter about coolant and a radiator, but we will need an intercooler because I think if we try and start it without the intercooler, it may mess with the math sensor, which is here, and it will send like dodgy readings to the ECU. So we might need an intercooler just so we've got no boost leaks. 
The battery is completely flat. I've bought a new battery and we're probably gonna have to put an air filter on, which I think was in the car. So here's a rad pack for the S3. It's a complete unit. Crash bar, radiator, aircon condenser, intercooler. It's even got the bonnet locks as well and uh, bonnet cable, which is broke. But this should do the job. This was brand new, second hand, basically second hand, 1100 quid. Quite expensive, but it's got a lot of parts on it. Okay, it's just tiring even explaining it. So let's just get on with it and get doing it. And hopefully this S3 will start, please. So I'm not going to be properly connecting this front radiator pack because it's got to come straight back off just so it can access all the other parts that are broken. But the only thing that I'm going to be connecting is obviously the intercooler so we've got no boost leaks when we attempt to start this thing. Another thing that we need to replace is a battery and I was actually surprised how expensive a battery was for this. £120 because it's got start stop. Okay, we are ready. It's ready to start the car and look who's here. Liam's here for the, the moment we've all been waiting for. Have I been spending all this money on parts for no reason? Is this car a lemon? I really hope not. But we're fixing it either way. If it's broken, the engine is coming out. I, re I, I Touch wood, touch wood. It smells good in here. It's absolutely disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting in here but what will help is the cloud burst spray you see me use this in the rs5 it is absolutely powerful and it smells like your favorite fragrances check this out that was a misfire <laughs> that is a lot. there's loads of different fragrances to choose from from cloud burst as well you can go visit the website i'll put a link in the description for these with a discount code as well they're long lasting smells but i think it's going to take more than this to uh fix this but this is not the this is not the issue for now the main issue now is that liam is going to start the s3 up for the first time are you ready Ready as we're ever I feel like be. we need some tense music and also a reaction test because I'm gonna stand at the front. Mm -hmm. I would say turn off, so like I'm gonna be quick Got reaction. You. So just do a demo, just like ignition on. So I'm gonna be like off. Dialed. Okay, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Has this project got a lot more expensive than it should have? Are you ready, Liam? I'm, I'm actually like, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to be bad. Yeah, I want it to just start up and run, but I just, I've, I feel funny. You ready? Let's do it. Ready to go yeah. Come on. We're running. Ish. Ish. There's some bad noises. Some bad noises. Let it run. Any lights on the dash? Uh, no, there's no lights on the dash <laughs> at all. No look. No. We've got some bad noises. Potential plastic in there. Possibly. Okay. This isn't good news, but it started up at least. But I'm going to say that throttle body is the issue. I'm, I'm going to say that this, because this is all broken, that could be the issue. Or it did sound injectory kind of ish. I could have not plugged something in. That could be a potential. It's misfiring badly. Like really bad. it is misfiring. I'm gonna check. I plugged everything in, and I'm gonna check back with you. This time, I'm gonna see if I've got the touch. Have I got the magic touch? Like it sounds okay for like the first, like it sounds okay now, and then after a while it seems to start to feel smooth now. 
It could be me. I think I've got the touch. That sounds smooth, doesn't it? Sounds a bit better. That sounds well smoother. Uh, if it was red. No. Okay, we've got a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, turn that off. Think, guys, we might be taking this engine out. <laughs> With that brand new second hand intake manifold, it had all the injectors on it. So whether those injectors aren't communicating with it, I don't know whether they need to be coded to the car. You know what? These Audis, new Audis are like, maybe they don't like the car. They have to be coded to it or something like that. So potentially we have to take the injectors out of the, the old um, intake manifold and put them in the brand new second hand one. Not quite sure. Potentially, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is that is that the case? Is that the issue? We maybe just try a code reader next. Again, a little diagnostic, baby. Okay, only 80 faults found, only a minor. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear all those faults off. We're gonna start the car again and see what comes out. Obviously, we've got loads of faults which are just, well, they're just irrelevant because half of everything is not plugged in. We're just gonna look at the engine side of the fault, see if there's any injector fault codes or anything like that. And... Come on, S3. Come on, baby. I know you've got this. We've just got that little misfire. It's weird, because got a misfire. Oh, there's the check engine light. There it is. I was waiting for you to come. There's something not quite right. Oh, the engine light's gone off. It's fixed itself. It doesn't like to idle, but we have got the air filter off. Don't remember I'm sounding that noise here. Got a bit of stuttering, but the engine actually sounds okay. That's how this, they are like, they're not the, the sort of quietest of engines. The Golf R never was. If it can hold that idle, obviously we don't want to run it that long though because we've got no coolant in there, we don't want it to overheat, that will just cause 10 times more issues. Okay, after a second take, we are getting a misfire from cylinder one only now. So, there could be potentially either a dodgy injector on cylinder one, or dodgy spark plug on cylinder one, or something more sinister than that. But, I'm afraid, we're gonna have to leave this video right now whilst we go and investigate what exactly is wrong with the S3. Any suggestions, let us know in the comment section below. But again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.